Boeing has hosted a business lunch today in Rome. We are here to interview Mr. Marcello Bruni. He is the director for international corporate communications uh, for Italy and Southern Europe of Boeing Corporation. Thank you for speaking to us, Mr. Bruni. Thank you. Um, how is Boeing approaching the European market, given the heavy presence of its main competitor? The European market for us is uh, it's absolutely a point of reference and um, it's an absolute certainty. The, there is growth all over the world, but Europe represents um, a major component of the growth, which means that obviously we, we interpret this growth in a, in a number of ways with direct partnerships, with direct presence, depending on which countries in, uh, within Europe, since we're talking about Europe. Uh, in the case of Italy, we today we celebrated 50 plus years of, uh, of fruitful collaboration with industrial and, uh, and government infrastructure of Italy. So uh, um, a lot to celebrate, especially with the 787 coming to Italy uh, very soon. Okay. Um, you're speaking about Italy now. Uh, we know that some airlines in Italy need to re uh, renew their fleets quite urgently. I don't want to make uh, names, but the Meridiana, for example, uh, uh, is in the market for renewing its fleet. How are you approaching the Italian market in particular? As I was saying before, the Italian market in particular is, uh, is interpreted in a couple of ways. For us, Italy is a, it's a very important industrial market, um, production market. Um, from a sales perspective, we are in constant dialogue with, uh, with the Meridiana, with Alitalia, with all the Italian, Italian airlines. But as we know, Italy now is, a, is in a moment of uh, uh, thinking what, where it needs to go, how, how it wants to go, and how it wants to get there. So um, we're, we're talking to them, and uh, they're talking to us. It's a daily contact, and uh, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll come to, to fruition very soon. Okay. You spoke about the 787. Uh, when is that arriving in Italy, and in what form? The only stop in Italy is scheduled on the 5th of May in Taranto, uh, in the Grotali Airport. Uh, Grotali also is the, it's the, the, the keystone of the partnership with the Lenier Macchi for the 787. That's where the Dreamlifter, the modified 747, comes to pick up, uh, to pick up all the pieces and the uh, deliveries. So it's, uh, um, it's particularly significant to have, uh, to have, to celebrate the coming of the 787 and there. And uh, it's a motive of particular interest and pride, I believe, in the partnership with Italy, in the partnership with uh, the Femecanica group, and uh, in our presence on the Italian territory. How is your relationship with Finn Mechanica? And have you got anything to say about the defense sector uh, in general? About the defense sector? Defense. The relationship with Finn Mechanica has never been better. It's very solid, it's growing stronger, and uh, again, 50 plus years, is a, uh, there is a lot of them in, uh, in, in the results of, the, uh, of our presence here in Italy. Um, it's particularly strong also on the defense side. We are in constant, in constant contact with Fee Mechanica. We, uh, we talk on a, on a number of platforms, on a number of events, and uh, on a number of markets, so just not just Italy. So I would, say, I would answer the question saying it never been better. How about the polemics which have been going on for decades about uh, government aid to the two uh, aircraft manufacturing giants, uh, Boeing and Airbus. Do you have anything to comment about that? That's a very simple uh, thinking of the question. I mean, the, 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 the relationships and uh, the ratios are so skewed in favor of uh, how much aid uh, the European manufacturers received as compared to ours, as a matter of fact, there's been a, a lot of noise about um, both of you know both ends of both both us and them having had some significant aid. But the reality is that they've received about five, six times more than what we've received, and uh, and I'm particularly grateful of the fact that uh, we're finally reaching some kind of an understanding of uh, where aid needs to stop and where uh, true competition and true investment needs to be, needs to start. Mr. Bruni, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us. Thank you, thank you very much.